We're here at the Lifelines exhibition at the Ashmolean Museum, which is a celebration of the remarkable career of the Japanese woodblock print artist now called Matsubara, who over the past six decades has been producing joyful, innovative woodblock prints that really push at the boundaries of the woodblock medium. Naoko Matsubara grew up in Kyoto, where her father was the head priest of the Kenkun Shrine. And when she was 21, she won a Fulbright scholarship to the United States. She had a place at the Carnegie Institute in Pittsburgh. There was one crucial event that really changed her artistic life. She went to a concert that was held by the Indian sitar player Ravi Shankar and was so moved by the, the energy and emotion of his performance that she was inspired immediately to go and create a woodblock print to express her feelings. She says she worked day and night without stopping until this print was finished and by the end of the process she found her medium. So Naoko Matsubara carves directly onto the woodblocks using a variety of carving tools from traditional gouges to electric power tools to everyday implements that she finds around the house, nails or scissors or even pizza cutters to create particular effects. She favours oil-based pigments because of the, the intensity and, and sort of depth of colour she can achieve with these and she prints by rubbing on the back of a sheet of paper with a, a small tool that she's created from a wooden doorknob or sometimes from a section of a cylinder. In 1985, Naoko Matsubara travelled to Tibet with her husband, Professor David Waterhouse, um, and this was a, a real turning point in her artistic career. She was deeply moved by the physical and spiritual beauty of Tibet. She was struck by the raw orchestra of colours. Tibetan Sky shows a view from inside a monastery in Tibet, out across the mountains and you can see the striking contrast between the very bold, intensely decorated interior of the monastery and the huge blue skies outside. 